So a bit of luck, somebody moved. I managed to get in. So this is heat 14 of 14, so top heat, round. This is round one of two wheel drive qualifying. Top heat from the 2023 two wheel drive, one tenth off road electric world championships from Hobby Action in Phoenix, Arizona. We've had a fantastic time so far. The camaraderie in the pits is incredible between Germans and British and Irish and Polish and Norwegian and French. Absolutely superb. Plenty of new friends made. I'd have to encourage you, if you get the opportunity to come to a world in the United States, it is something not to be missed. I'd always been told not to miss it no matter what. And uh, even though my performance has been considerably dismal, uh, I'm so glad that I came. And I am not having a bad time, even though my car is, uh, well, we just get it around without breaking it. Forget about the times, just get it around. I'll be happy. No way I'm going to be anywhere near these guys. They make it look so easy. Um, they're going to line up for the start, and I just want to say a quick thank you to Schumacher, Rude Bits, and FF Racing. You see them there in the bottom of the screen. Please not only hit like and subscribe on this video, but please hit like and subscribe on their channels because those guys are putting money back into the sport. They want to promote it, not just for sales, but for the good of everybody. So, come on. Get involved. And they are away. It is Dakota Fend, top man in control practice with the, it's a new Losi called the under the bench Losi. So I'm told, because uh, it's called that because that's where it lives. It comes in from racing and it goes under the bench. And I am told that really this is just the current car with a few little bits on it. And if you weren't familiar with the car, you probably wouldn't know. But anyway, they want to keep it secret. I get that. That's okay. But I can tell you that car looks absolutely sweet. It's generating a huge amount of front end grip just at the apex. You can see Dakota steering at the apex coming on quite sharply. And then the car just toes in and in it goes. Very good in the air. You know, this is this has to be a shoe in for certainly a podium. I dare I say the win. The car looks really, really good. But it is not Dakota Fenn leading the heat. It's David Angaro leading the heat. You can pick up David. Here he is. David in an awesome tussle with Spencer Rivkin for the four wheel drive world championship. Spencer giving it 105%, really amazing. David able to take the pressure, so a worthy champion. Now just comparing Fenn's car to Ongaro's there's nothing in it apart from the way the car goes into the corner. Angara's car wants to arc a little bit more. Fenn's car looks like it has all the steering at sort of 45 degrees. Um, I don't know why that is. Could be Ackerman setting or something, I'm not sure. And I can tell you. I can tell you that David Angaro's looks, car looks absolutely sweet and looks so unflamboyant is the only word I can use. It's just going around, no issues whatsoever. Little bits of steering work just to keep the car tracked in the air. Little loose just under us here, but... <coughs> track is it does feel a little loose in, in two-wheel drive in comparison to four-wheel drive it's tricky 
So, let's try and work out who is leading this now, I believe. Should be still David Angaro because he looks pretty good. It is Angaro, still ahead. Brenner Remel Schwimmel is second, Tater Sontag third. Rivkin now takes up second. Let's take a look at Spencer. Here he is. So we'll just compare Spencer to Davide. Very quick at the apex under my nose here. Finding all the grip. Spencer doing a lot more work in the air um, as he goes past Marcus Kerup. Marcus absolutely flying and uh, spoke too early unfortunately. Marcus certainly one of the top Europeans. He is running sixth in this heat, fantastic. Here is Spencer. So there's, there's nothing in this. I have to wait for them to come through before I can tell you who exactly is leading the heat. At the minute it's showing Spencer Rifkin. And it's still Spencer Rifkin, so Spencer leads the heat. I know, ah, now it's Dakota Fend. So there's nothing in this, it's extremely tight. So 0.25 of a second is where the top four are in. It is Dakota Fenn leading on paper. If we can pick him up, here he is. A little wobble from Dakota. It's amazing when a quarter of a second makes such a difference. So it's time. So Fenn has to make it around to the start line for sure, but no considerable time loss. Car looks good. He is through. We have to wait for everyone to finish to make sure he doesn't get pipped. But I think it's Dakota Fenn, Spencer Rivkin, Taylor Sontag, David, David Angaro. Angaro promoted to third. So it's Fenn, Rivkin, Angaro for Q1. There you have it, Dakota Fend. Does the business. So, that's it for the moment. Come back to us uh, a little later. Uh, we will have round two of two wheel drive qualifying. Pace is unbelievable, I have to say. I know on, on the camera it probably looks like they're going real slow, but you don't know how little grip there is available it's really impressive that they can get the car going like that on slicks please hit like and subscribe please check out our channel sponsors can't emphasize that enough but what a big deal that is and of course thanks to you for watching bye